Like you putting the, the slobbery cucumber from out somebody else's mouth into your mouth and passing it to the next slobbery mouth. Like, are y'all okay? Look, let's be clear. I ain't never took a loss. Every time I go shopping, I ain't got to check the cost. Still independent. Still my own boss. Still got bad bitches coming up their draws. He can beat up like a motherfucking Frito. Lucci flame hot like a motherfucking Cheeto. This is not an act. I am not Don Cheeto. Slut a nigga out. Treat him like a free coat. Yeah, you heard right. I'm a whole ass gangster. Made him eat my butt. I ain't even say thank you. What's up, Lucci gang? It's your girl, Lucci V. And welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video and today i'm going to be reviewing bad versus wow episode seven yes the dark skin versus light skin episode so if you would like to see how i felt about this episode and stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell ding 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 now let's get into it okay so for this episode of bad versus wow they changed the name to like goddesses versus goddesses or something i don't know but we all saw the original post okay we saw the original post the original post was team light skin versus team dark skin okay i, I don't care what you call it chocolate goddesses versus caramel goddesses i, I, don't, I don't care what y'all call it it's colors versus colors and i don't really see the point of that like i feel like they could have came up with a better theme a different theme like I don't, I don't understand this whole, oh, dark skin look better, light skin look better. I mean, I didn't saw some pops looking light skin girls, and I didn't saw some pop looking dark skin girls. It don't matter what color you color you are, baby. It, it The color does not matter. Okay? Like, stop playing with me. Like, the whole theme of this really irritated my soul. You know, as someone who is a brown skin woman or a dark skin woman, whatever you want to call me, I, I just felt like, ugh, because I mean, there are always things where they're like, oh, light skin is better and dark skin girls are mean and aggressive. I, like we know the stereotypes. So I just felt like very unnecessary, very uncalled for. Y'all could have came up with a better theme. Okay. Stick to the BBLs versus the naturals or something like that. Like, but Like, are we for real taking this back to Twitter days? Y'all remember back in the day in like 2013 and Twitter people people used to have in their Twitter bio, hashtag team light skin, hashtag team dark skin. Like, baby, that is so 2008. Like, stop it. And then let me go have the nerd to try to come out and make a little announcement because after the internet went up, after the internet went up on Mr. Lemon Papa Steppa. Now he's going to try to make a little announcement. Yeah, I just want you guys to know I love everybody and all the skins. I love it. I love that. Save it. Save it. Because I don't think you like brown skin girls for real anyways, brother. No shade. Clock that T. Clock that T. Oh, okay. So anyways, let's get into the episode. <laughs> we had on the team bed, a.k.a. the chocolate dark skin side, we had the captain at Sukiyana, Sapphire, Stoney, who was from One More Chance, and more. Y'all know and more from Baddies. Brown Sugar, I believe she was on One More Chance. And Miss Cat from Baddies and Bad Girls Club. And on Team Wild, aka the light skin side, was Marissa and Ellie Chopper Baby Mama, Biggie and Smalls from One More Chance, Low London from Baddies and BGC, Sunkissed, not sure where she's from. Beautiful girl, but have no clue who you are, sister. No shade. Um, and then we have Michelle who was on another episode of Bad vs. Wow, and she's also from some Now That's TV shows, okay? Um, so you guys know they start off with the teams um, separated, but Suki was basically saying, like, I don't know anything about these girls, and they're going to be trying to clock my tea and call me out about stuff, and I don't know what to say about them. So Sapphire was just like, girl, we're going to make something up. We'll make something up about them. <laughs> it don't even matter. And that was funny, but I do not like girls that do that. You ever been getting into it with a girl? And you eating her, chewing her down. Chewing her to the flow. Reading her like a book. Reading her like a chapter book. And then she gonna make up a lie to try to eat you up. And it's like, girl, that's not eating when you making it up. It's not even true, sister. Get it together. Get a grip. Okay? So, um, then we have a performance by Sukiana to kick it off. 
And I don't know, her stage presence was kind of like turned down. She was grabbing her ears. So I'm thinking maybe there was some trouble with her hearing in her, you know, in her in ears. But the crowd was turned up for her. Like the crowd was loving Suki Baby. Okay, that was lit. But um, yeah. So the teams come out. First the chocolate grillies come out, then Marissa's team come out. Is it me or is the girl Marissa a little a little off? A little bit, a little clap on, clap off. And she's going to clap off. Like, she a little ditzy, a little... I'm trying to think of the politically correct word to use here, but is the girl Marissa a little off to y'all? I don't know. She was she was seeming a little off to me, like a little ditzy doodle bop or something. Like, I ain't know what was going on with her sister. But the first game they played was the red light, green light game. Again. Again. I'm, I, I I don't know why that's their most favorite game to play. I think it's because the twerking and Nick Cannon be wanting to see the buns move. But uh, y'all could, y'all, it's a whole bunch of little backyard games that my family know, baby. And I could tell y'all some to play, for real. Play some spades up there, something next. Play some Uno. Go fish. Anything but the red light, green lights. Y'all, I'm so over this red light, green light. Um, but nothing exciting really happened this round. They actually made it through the full game, which was cool. Um, and Suki's team ended up winning. The next game was Pass the D, which I talked about in the, I think it was like the BBO versus Natural episode, where they got to put the cucumber, they stand in the line and put the cucumber in their mouth and have to pass the cucumber using anybody part besides their hands. And they was passing them mouth to mouth down the line mouth to behind oh, oh, like yeah. like you putting the the slobbery cucumber from out somebody else's mouth into your mouth and passing it to the next slobbery mouth like are y'all okay are y'all okay i'm sorry i don't even like drinking at the people not even people i'm in a relationship with family members none of that i don't like drinking at the people so I, I, that game is repulsive to me <laughs> like <laughs> no shade that is crazy to me to be doing that um but anyways um suki team was basically saying like because the light skin team went first suki team was basically just like y'all did the typical easy way or whatever like y'all ain't really you know show out blah blah and low london was like yeah suki you be throwing up on the d i was like oh hold on Hold on. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. And Suki start walking towards they, you know, the light skin side. Like, yeah, I did throw up on it and I made a million dollars from it. So what's up? And my chain bigger than yours. You ain't even got no watch on. Woo -woo. You know, she was trying to eat low London up or whatever. And, you know, it eventually calmed down because Suki was like, okay, let me calm down. You know, I'm here to be friendly and play the game, but I do also got them hands if I have to have them hands. Like, woo. And I'm just like, uh, I just knew. I just knew so it, it, it cannot go that smooth. I just knew. I don't know. I just felt like when they start doing the pass the D game, I just had a feeling that somebody was going to bring up about Suki throwing up on the D. I just had a feeling that someone was going to bring it up. I didn't know it was going to be low London, but I just had a feeling. So Suki's team ended up winning the pass the D challenge. You know, they did some mouth to mouth, mouth to behind. The Amor grabbed it with her feet. Uh, y'all you, you, know Amor do the most. And Suki's team ended up winning. Um, I think that the light skin team completed it in 22 seconds. Suki team ended up completing it in 18 seconds, so they won. The final game was musical chairs again. Like I'm, I'm so I, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of some of these games, y'all. Like. I promise y'all, musical chairs. That's the best shot. All right, anyway, so musical chairs, as many times as they have played this game on this show, on the different episodes, I've never saw all the chairs breaking like this. Like these girls was jumping on the chairs, wrestling over the chairs, all on the floor over the chairs, baby. Like the very first round, as soon as it started, and more broke, broke like two chairs. Like it, it just was. It was a lot going on. It was a lot of tugging and pulling. Like, baby, it turned into tug of war over these chairs, okay? Like, when it 
came down to the final chair, it was, I believe, Smalls and Suki. And when it came down to the chair, like no one could win because they were fighting and wrestling over the final chair. So no one ended up winning that round. The security guard had to come because the teams was just tugging and pulling. No one ended up winning that round. But Nick Cannon was like, oh, well, Suki won that round. I really feel like he was showing some favoritism. No shade on this episode. He, he kind of was showing some favoritism to Suki. Because it was a part, um, even on the first game, the red light, green lights. He was like, I think Suki was moving, but we're going to let her get a pass. Like, you know, so he was really kind of showing some favoritism. No shade. Um, but I like Suki, so whatever, <laughs> Team Suki. But, yeah, I, 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 can, I can just keep it a bug. There was definitely some kind of favoritism going on on this episode, okay? So the overall winner for the um, show for this episode was Suki Team, Team Dark Skin. And Suki was basically, you know, holding up the belt. Like, you know, congratulations to, you know, everybody because y'all was doing good too. So shout out to y'all. Talk to the Light Skin Team. And they were sitting there like, so she was like, oh, well, F y'all then. If y'all gonna sit up there with the frowny face, like, I don't care. Like, you know, I really did like how she was still trying to be cool, you know, with them, even after they had said that, you know, the throwing up on the D, all that. I did like that she was still trying to be cool, but they was sitting over there with them, with the stank on your face. It was like, girl, okay, forget y'all then. So Suki did another performance and she actually looked way more comfortable this second performance. I think. She was like excited for the win and she probably could hear better, but she was actually getting turned up on this performance at stage presence. The crowd was super lit. Um, and then, you know, the team light skinned girls were backstage and they was just basically saying like it was weird and all that. And it's like, I do understand like there was some favoritism, you know what I'm saying? No shade. It kind of was, but I mean, y'all still lost baby. Okay. <laughs> I mean, y'all still lost, so whatever. Um, how I feel about this episode, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. If you guys were not like inboxing me and commenting to me all the time to please review this show, I would not be watching it. It's it's just not for me. It's not entertaining to me. I do not enjoy it. I really don't like. I do not like. I was so excited when y'all was commenting when I mentioned doing some WWE reviews, and y'all was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, we want to see." I was like, "Yes, finally something I actually enjoy watching." Yes, uh. but I put up my WrestleMania Day One recap, and the views are tremendously lower than when I put up stuff like this. So, yeah. I'm going to keep reviewing the shows. I know I still have to review the part two of the Mean Girls reunion. If you did not watch my WrestleMania recap, then maybe you don't know, but I pulled something in my neck. So last week I was out of commission for like a lot of days that week. Um, I'm feeling better. My neck is still hurting, but I'm feeling well enough to sit up and review this. So yeah, um, I got a lot of requests to review the new season of the Challenge All-Stars. Some people said they want me to review Monday Night Raw and SmackDown every week, like I'm getting a lot of requests to review shows. I had no clue that my channel would be turning into a review channel, but baby, here we are, and I'm going to make it happen for y'all, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.